Hello there, good afternoon, welcome along. Um, isn't it warm? Well, it is here, it's very warm, very, very, very warm and humid and sticky. Not complaining at all. So, who have we got? Hello, Linda. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, oh, bear with me, I've done it again. Uh, we don't have to listen to that, do we? Um, hello, Sherry. On the website, so we're live on the website, we're live on Facebook, and we're live on YouTube as well. Um, hello, Linda. Hello, Leslie and Kirsty. <laughs> yeah, stop working now. It's time to start. It's four o'clock. Time to start working. Um, hello, Annette and Alice and Alana. I'm very good, thank you, Alana. Um, Margaret, hello in. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Tad, oh, Tallahassee in Florida. I heard of that one. I heard of Florida, not not Tallahassee. Tallahassee is it? Yeah. Okay, Tallahassee. Um, hello, country music and Pretoria in South Africa. Hello to you. Very hot in Derbyshire. It's very hot, Karen, in uh, in Lincolnshire as well. But again, not complaining. Hello, uh, Silky in Germany. Uh, Janet and Carolyn Melbourne in Australia. We're all over the place, aren't we? Um, hello, Sheila and Jan. I'm, I'm very well, thank you. Hi, Megan. She's making oven mitts. Um, here we go. Oh, hi, Sarah lovely and sunny in Northampton she says it is it is very warm and I haven't got the fan on because it's really noisy so I might do that a lot in the hour now we are going to make hot in Manchester it's about time isn't it we've had we haven't had the summer that we were used to from last year um, but apparently Gary was telling me it's going to be glorious for the next two weeks we'll see freezing cold in Cape Town oh I'm not coming then I thought it was always warm over there um hi Glenis um, hi Dominica in Poland and uh, Amanda from Sweden about to be back for a second time welcome back okay now it is Wednesday so it's kind of website Wednesday but I haven't got an awful lot to show you because everything new that we've had seems to be on the website but we have got some new Christmas fabrics you might see behind me um, and panels I want to have a chat about some of the poplins that we've got on the website too and it's empty at the moment it's gone um, but we've got some mugs as well. Look at these. So let me just move things out of the way so I can see what I'm doing here. There you go. Look. So we've got tape measures on the handles and then lots of sewing notions. So if you're having a cuppa while you're sewing, what better? Hello, Vera from Southport, first time. Um, warm and slightly Clyde. Clyde. Oh, Clyde in Cambridge. Zoe, first time here. First time got to be on the live. Welcome along. Now I'm going to make a toweling turban later on, or in a bit, because I did promise that we're going to be working with toweling today. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do this. I may look as though I'm in a wind tunnel. Is that too noisy? Can we cope with that? Can we cope with a bit of this glamorous wind tunnel kind of look? Because I'm very, very hot. Um, hello, Debbie in Canton, Ohio. Morning, Lisa. Afternoon, Lisa, with a spanner. Um, hello, Cher Oh, I'm glad you got the book, Olive. Lovely. Jennifer's in Manchester. So, new on the website, we've got these. But we've also got... Tell me if this is too noisy, I'll switch it off. And I, I'm... Gary just, <laughs> Gary just said to me, why don't you put the fan on? It's not too noisy. It's not so much the noise, it's the hair blowing in the lipstick that might be the problem. But if you can cope with that, then we're fine. Look at these. New on the website again. Now you get all three of these. They're three little rings. Let's say put them on your key rings. You could put them on zips, on sliders. Um, they make have nice little advent calendar prices. Oh, Karen, I don't make me tops. No, phase eight, this one. Don't have time. Um, and they're kind of a, a silicone rubbery kind of affair. So there's the same machine and the scissors, and you get the ruler, you get all three of those. Um, ah, Lisa, we're making a, a towel in turban. Um, if you have a look on debbyshawsewing.com, thanks, Gaz, um, then you'll see them under new. So when, when you, if you go there at the moment, or if you're there already, uh, like Sherry and Sarah are, um, Go to the website, debbyshawsewing.com, you'll see a video and then there's a new in section and these are on the new in because they've only come in this morning, literally just come on the website, as have the mugs, which are empty. Say it loud enough, I might get it filled with something rather nice. 
not coffee in this weather. Um, Julie's got her book, lovely. Hello, Teresa in Nottingham. Glad you like the hedgehog fabric. I'm on a big screen in Helene's living room. Oh, I hope you don't see the wrinkles. I'm, I'm not HD ready. Right. These, these have been on the website um, for a few days, but I haven't shown you them yet. So I wanted to show you this because it's been really popular already. And these are kind of woodland panels. I, I, I really love them. They're really pretty. Let me show you close up. Um, these would and that, it is a panel so you're going to get how many are the eight of the different images and they're dashwood studio and i just think they're so pretty um so as a quilt on their own all you need to do is put a backing on it and quilt them or you could cut out the panels individually and make um anything from bags little drawstring bags would be nice if you use one panel in the center and then put kind of sashing around it so you cut them all up you can make a, a much bigger quilt with them and dashwood studios of course such lovely quality of fabric but i love the designs it's not just the squirrels it's the design that's actually on the squirrels as well i think they're so pretty beautiful designs watching from the central line tube says sharon well when you go underground you're going to lose your signal surely um, Margaret, if we don't have, we do sell them out very quickly. Um, if we don't have magnetic snaps on the website, they should be back very soon. Um, iced coffee. Oh, I don't know about iced coffee, Cass. Um, hello, Brian in Ohio. Welcome back again. Um, I'll try, Megan. That shouldn't be a problem. A pouch for dog treats. I've made a bum bug, um, which would be good for dog treats, but not something specifically for dog treats tricks 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 and treats hello Vic in Pennsylvania hello Lindy I haven't missed much don't worry um, so these are all new on to website apparently Kim was saying I didn't know there's going to be a Tom and Jerry film haven't heard of that one but we've got Tom and Jerry fabric um, I, I, I love Tom and Jerry because it was my dad's favorite cartoon and I don't know whether it was one of those do you remember back in the day um, there was the news used to start at quarter to six and there was like a five minute window for something like the magic roundabout or a kids program or something to be shown in that little bit before the news started and i'm sure tom and jerry used to come on then because i can just remember my, my dad telling us both to shush because he used to love watching tom and jerry he used to laugh out loud at tom and jerry um but after a while i'll send this to kim because she remembers this there was the original tom and jerry and then it was kind of reworked and he wouldn't watch it after that. That wasn't the proper Tom and Jerry. But this is proper Tom and Jerry. Like the original artwork of Tom and Jerry. Um, and it's so nostalgic for me. I, I, I absolutely love it. I don't know if I would have watched it, to be honest, if, if it wasn't for my dad. But he just, he just loved it. Tom and Jerry and the dandy comic. It was, yeah, he loved both of them. Um, so if you are a fan of the film, apparently... Um, then we've, we've got the fabric for you and I like the way it's grey in the background as well because it's, it's quite quite neutral Linda Stad loves the A-Team I think that was a bit later than mine oh was the film out I didn't know the film was out already Hayley um, thanks Yvonne glad you like it the magic roundabout I know I still like the magic roundabout oh who are the characters Florence there was a cow, Brian the snail, Dylan the rabbit. Can't remember who else. Who were the characters in Magic Roundabout? Come and let me know. Oh, I've gone. I've gone back in time, forty or forty, fifty years. Um, morning from Sherry in Wisconsin. A beautiful day over there. Zebedee, that's course Zebedee. Um, Rebuilding the outhouse, Karina, love it. Dougal the dog, of course. Ermin Truth the cow. Time for bed, said Zebedee, says Linda. Absolutely, oh, I forgot about those. Ooh. Doodle, Doodle, no, Douglas, wasn't it? That is Doodle. Dougal and Zebedee. Boying, time for bed, that was it. Oh, gosh. Anyway, forgot about all of those. Wasn't there a boy in it as well? So there was Florence and there was a boy. 
can't remember. Anyway, you might have seen that before because it has been on the website, but I haven't shown it to you before. But these have only gone on today. It's Christmas. It's Christmas at Shaw Towers. How about that? Um, now, I don't know if you can be able to see this properly, but it's, it's actually got a shimmer. So if I try and catch the light a little, 56 years for Magic Roundabout, blimey. <gasps> it has a, got a shimmer. It's not sparkly, but it's shimmery. I don't think... Oh, you can see that. Look, it's quite shimmery. So it's subtle. And because there's not too much metallic going on there, it's quite soft as well. Um, it's the fan blowing, Lindsay. I'm, I'm blooming hot. So let me switch it off if it's if it's annoying because we don't want to annoy annoy you. Oh, trying to switch it off without catching my fingers in the blades. It's one of those fans. There we go. Okay, we've got two colours in this. So there's the red, and then there's like a a white or an off white. Again, these are all in, under the um, new ins. Oh, you can see the sheen on that, can't you? So it's it's cotton, but it's got this like shimmer running through. Oh, you can see here, look, that's really pretty. Um, I, I'll tell you what, though, when you get this home, you'll need to iron it. It has to come off, off the bulk white crease, but iron it from the wrong side to start with and give it a good old blast of steam. All the creases drop out. Beautiful. Mr. Rusty. Who is Mr. Rusty? Was that, was that him? Mr. Red the Talking Horse. No, oh, Ellen, you're old. That's really old. Mr. Red the Talking Horse. Remember that? Um, any more abstract faces? Not sure, Glennis. I shall have a word with my daughter. Hey, Lisa. I don't remember that. Oh, we reconnected. I think we might be back again. Don't know what happened there. Bill and Ben. Oh, Bill and Ben the Flower Pot Men. And Little Weed, I remember that. And Andy Pandy. Uh, Rin Tintin. See, I didn't like Tintin. Um, I froze. <laughs> yeah, keep hit the refresh button. We should be okay. I don't know what's going on with Tintinet today. Seem to have gone or froze. Am I back? Oh, lovely. Poggles. Don't remember Poggles. What's Poggles? Put your fan back on. Thanks, Karina. I might have to in a minute. Uh, let me just show you some more fabrics quickly while we seem to be okay. Oh, gone, girl. Um, I'm back, I'm gone, I'm back and I'm gone. I'm a here, I'm a there, and what's going on? Oh, that could be a ditty, couldn't it? The wood, oh, I love the wooden tops. <laughs> You, no, no, I'm on Facebook. I seem, I seem to be there. The clang. Oh, see, wooden, wooden tops. I love the wooden tops because there was um, baby wooden top that walked on his bottom. I say it because I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. And then there was the spottiest dog you ever did see. The whoa, 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 whoa. Um, Susan's still without sound. Anybody else without sound? Because I seem to be broadcasting with sound from here, okay? Um... Just scrolling down again. I'm back, I'm gone, I'm back, I'm gone. Bill, yeah, I love Bill and Ben. Rags, Hag and Bobtail, don't know that one. Andy, uh, uh, Andy, pa I, I kind of liked Andy Pandy, but I thought he was a bit scary. Oh, I tell you who was scary. Um, Torchy the robot. Torchy the, ro Torchy the, the battery boy. Oh, if you have a look at those videos on YouTube, how did we let our children watch those videos? They were, they were really scary. Lovely. Larry the lamb. Anyway, we're talking, I'm talking fabric for goodness sake. And we're all about Christmas. Um, we have Christmas snowflakes and this is foiled. These are all, <laughs> actually around about on YouTube. Um, these are all brand new, only literally just gone on today. Um, and they're really lovely, traditional types of Christmas fabric. So I shan't go through them all individually. Um, but you get the idea of the kind of thing that we've got going on there. And, and, and these are just really lovely quality. So we may only be in um, July. I am putting my fan back on, actually, Geraldine. Roasting. Should we, oh, <laughs> put it on a bit too close to my sewing machine there. Right, 
We'll be okay by Saturday because my aircon unit is arriving tomorrow. Um, but yeah, really nice um, traditional type of um, of fabrics. So if you're stocking up for Christmas, if you've started your Christmas sewing already, and you like traditional designs, we've got lots of them on the website. Those have literally gone on this morning. I'm glad you don't notice the fan. Um, Camberwick Green. Oh, I love Camberwick Green. Um, I used to have the, uh, the, the doll. My favourite was Mickey Murphy, the baker. But I used to have all of the little dolls, and I knitted them clothes. I remember that when I was, when I was little. Daleks. Dalek, yeah. And the whole Doctor Who thing is re really frightening when they when it first started. Diddly down, diddly down, diddly down, diddly down, down. Woo! That that alone, the, the theme tune used to frighten me. Um, hello, Lana in California. First time she's brought us live. I'm in Lincolnshire, Amanda, at the moment. Mind you, it looks like I might be staying. I, I can't believe what's happening in this house, Um Patricia's addicted to bad making. It's cold and windy in Suffolk. Barbara, we're all in a heat wave here. One more new fabric to show you, and then we'll get on with making the turban. And this I've saved to last because it is amazing. I'd, you might know or you might not. I used to breed peacocks in a former life, so I've got quite an affiliation with the things. This is Lady McElroy fabric. It's amazing quality. Um, the, I mean, the quality of the fabric's lovely, but the detail on the printing is fantastic too. And I, I just adore the peacocks. Um, yeah, I used to have quite a few of them. They're beautiful creatures. They're very big and very strong. And yes, they fly like birds. I used to have the neighbours phoning up. We've got a peacock on the top of our garage. Can you come and get it? Um, the amazing creatures. But yeah. So yes, got quite an affiliation with that one. And it's very dark navy in the background. It's not black, it might look black on your screen. But those aren't they beautiful, they're just lovely. And I love the way that these look like actual peacocks. They're not like a cartoon version or a stylized version. That's actually what they look like. Do you know they don't grow the tail feathers till they're three years old? And you know how the males fan their feathers? That's to show off, but it's also an aggression thing. The females can do that as well. The females are very brown and very ordinary and very boring. Um, and they have very small tails, but they fan them. And then they shake them and it goes <laughs> So yeah, that's, a, that's an aggression thing. That's a, such a poultry bore, me. Anyway, where are we? Um, so, oh, lovely. You enjoy your new sewing machine, Patricia. Um, <laughs> are you not? Get on with your job, Lisa. Don't know what your job is, but get on with it. Oh, Ka Ka uh, Karen rescued a peacock out of the road. What happened with it? Was it okay? Yes, the mugs are for sale on my website, Susan, on uh, debbieshawsewing.com. Oh, Helen's ordered one, lovely. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to keep this. I think they're, I think they're rather lovely and nice and big so you can fit lots of coffee in them oh i had white peacocks too the albinos leslie they're amazing creatures um is there anything you haven't done <laughs> no but, uh, the things i haven't done i'm still working on um right ride a cow when we had a small holding mini with well that's something i've never done lorraine i've never ridden a cow i have to say uh kirsty's ordered an overlocker i need to order an overlocker um, oh, I hope it's all right, Christine. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I'm 50 inches wide on Jean's TV. Still not decided on a body form. Why, why don't you order one from somewhere like Amazon where you can have a play with it and send it back if you don't like it? Hello, Rita in, um, in Malta. Lisa wants a mug. Um, Thank you, Susan. Oh, have the, the sewing studio. I've actually ordered a sewing machine. I, I, where did it go? Out from Amazon this morning. Um, but it's the 560 I've ordered. Because I don't, I don't need all of the stitches and the alphabet and stuff like that. Anyway, should we do some sewing? Rita in Malta, should we do some sewing? Right. So a toweling 
um, turban was requested and I've actually made a pattern for this from um, a toweling turban that my daughter and my granddaughter use <laughs> can, so bring me that turban so I can make a pattern from it so it's a bit wet, I've been using it so obviously a very useful item so let me show you what I've done now this is the um, the bamboo toweling that we got on the website we don't have wax fabric at the moment um, I'm, I'm afraid Amanda Nancy, the campsite about four miles sorry um, used to go camping the kids around picking up the fallen feathers oh that's the thing, they shed their feathers every year, so um, another 50, oh dear, another 50 inch plus, Boop. happy French, is it French, oh it is, isn't it, it's the 14th, happy French National Day to anyone that's watching from over the channel, oh. right, so let me show you what this measures, um, bring my, oh I've got lots of poplin to show you as well later, so, first of all look at a rectangle, and that's 24 inches long, and the rectangle measured 11 inches deep so this was a rectangle measuring 24 inches across and 11 inches deep and then this, this is quite difficult to explain because all I did was literally hand cut the curve so if you have like a circle template which may help so that would be if you've got a plate that measures 10 inches across then put it on one end like that and then just cut around it and taper off to the other end. I don't think this is an exact science. Uh, Sunny in Romford says Sherry. Sunny in Northampton, lovely Sarah. Um, but that's the kind of shape that you want. If it, if it, w if it works, because I've not done this before, um, I'll try and draw a pattern and put it on the website. How's that? but this is an exact copy of the one that Kim's got so it should be fine um, so that's that and I've cut two pieces out of that and the two pieces mirror image each other I don't think that's particularly important because there's not very much difference between the wrong side and the right side but if you cut kind of on the fold you'd have two, pe pe two pieces that mirror images each other pen pals a tutorial for big rulers oh for a bit really Mandy like that Amanda's got a pen pal. I used to have a pen pal. Hello, Deborah Musselwood. Um, when I was 16, 14, 15, 16, her name was Brigitte in Paris. Um, it was like a car cover. Oh, I think I've missed something there, sorry. Hello, Castellini in Northern California. Now, this is going to be quite easy and it's quite quick, really. Um, so that's what we've got, that's the shape of it. I'll see if I can do a pattern, but... Oh, Ellen, it's lovely. It's the bamboo toweling. So it's, it's incredibly soft. And of course, bamboo, I know I bash on about this, um, but bamboo is one of the most sustainable plants for making fabric in the world. We, we, we should all be going to, to things like this, and in fact, there should be more fabrics made from bamboo. Um, at the moment, I think fabrics that are made from bamboo tend to be very, very silky, the kind of things that you make underwear out of, um, which, which I, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't use that, but you can get bamboo wadding, which I, I don't have on the website, but we do have the bamboo toweling. Bamboo is a grass, so it grows like grass, so you can literally chop it down and it regrows, and it doesn't need pesticides, and it's... Um, it's got an antiseptic quality to it um, and it just grows like weeds um, so there's no pesticides involved and there's no replanting or replenishing it's it's an incredible fabric um, as far as the environment's concerned and we, we do have quite a few colors in now as well um, a car co oh it does a bit doesn't it <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do with this the way that it works I'm going to sew together around the curved side, leaving the bottom open. I'm going to hem this over twice, and I'm going to feed some elastic through there to make that a little bit tight. Then there will be an elastic loop on the pointy end and a button on this end, and you twist the whole thing around. <laughs> I was having a play with this earlier on. I said to Kim, should I, should I really do this in a live? Because I'm just gonna look so silly. So maybe right at the end, uh, what make of heat arrays will pen do I use and where do I buy one? Um, 
do we have I don't know if we've got any heat erasable left at the moment on the website those would be so line those are absolutely fine I like friction pens but if you have a look on Amazon I can't remember what make they are it's this one oh, it's a friction it is friction pen um, but it's a clicker so you don't have a lid I tend to lose the lids a lot so it clicks on and off and it's got an, an eraser on the end of it so I'm quite fond of those at the moment so that's what I use there. A willow, I bet it does take a lot. Maybe you should set up a, a bamboo a bamboo fabric farm. Helen may be at the end. I don't mind demonstrating putting it on, but I'm going to look so, so dishevelled when I take it off again. Right. So these are now right sides together. So the longer side is on the outside. Um, you can use any kind of toweling for this and in fact if you have an old towel that would work very well as well um, hi crystal welcome along um, there we go the bamboo toweling it sheds a little bit but it doesn't shed very much not as much as a lot of toweling would do actually apologies if you <laughs> If you've been ordering toweling off the website in different colours, you may have a bit of navy shedded onto your white. It, it does, um, other fabrics pick it up, shall we say. So I'm just pinning this all the way around. You're left out in Jersey, really? Hi, Stephanie. Now, because it's a little bit stretchy, I am going to, oh, the machine's almost off the table there. I'm going to use a lightning stitch. So let me see if I, I can show. Oh, I can't show. Let me see if I can move that up a little bit. Lightning stitch. There we go. Is that one? So it looks like a bolt of lightning. Um, if you don't have a lightning stitch on your sewing machine, then you could use a zigzag stitch, but make it narrow and make it quite short, or a triple um, straight stitch. That takes a lot of thread because it's like a back stitch, it goes backwards and forwards. Um, but to be honest, with something that's quite, it's not, it's not fitted, so to speak, your straight stitch will probably be all right. If you've, got, if you've got a lightning stitch, then that's fine, use it. But if you haven't, don't go buying new sewing machines or anything like that. Um, so, there we go. So I'm just going to sew these two pieces together. Should have pinned it from the other side really and again I'm just going around the um, the curved outside piece uh, how do you use row cut I'm left-handed have you got a left-handed rotary cutter Lorraine um, the one that I use is the um, Alpha so I've just got the edge of that caught and let's make that a little bit longer or we'll be here all day so just bear with me while I get this going there we go so this is the alpha that I use um, I think we've got these on the website actually if they're not there now they will be there very soon so this is set for right-handed mode but if you take the blade off and put it on the other side it's left-handed so if you're using a right if you're using a right-handed rotary cutter and you're left-handed, you're going to have a bit of a gap in between where you're cutting and the edge you're cutting against. So that, that may help. Um, what middle is my sewing machine, Vanessa? Um, it's a Janome um, 660, which isn't actually made anymore. Um, it's quite an old machine, this one. This is quite time consuming because I've, I've got the, the zigzag going on, so bear with me. Uh, what's annoying? What's, oh, what's, that's not me that's annoying, is it, Patricia? What's annoying? Thank you very much, Andrea. An overlocker would be ideal, Erica. Um, but I don't have my overlocker with me because I've given it to my daughter. So I, I don't know, not everybody's got an overlocker though, so it might be quite just quite nice just to show you how you can work without an overlocker, but that would be absolutely perfect if you have. If I had, I'd be done by now.
thank you Susan, it's a phase 8 one they do them at Next online um, Amanda had a pen pal hello Marion in Port Alfred oh sorry, Port Alfred South Why are you paying twice the postage, Teresa? Have you, have you made two orders? I don't know why you're paying twice the postage. If you've made two orders, then I'll look out for it and try and bundle them together. I might just use a straight stitch when I'm putting the elastic in. This is taking ages, isn't it? I tell you what also helps is a, um, is a walking foot. Um, with the bamboo if, if you have one use it again they can be quite expensive so don't go rushing out and buying one if you don't have one um, but the fabrics can be quite slippery when they're together so um, walking foot will help stop it moving right I'm just going to trim down she says she's going to trim down that little bit there but I can't find my scissors Oh, right in front of me, as you'd expect. So let's just trim this back a bit. So the lightning stitch gives a little bit of stretch to the stitch, basically. And I've just used the edge of my foot as a seam allowance, but it's quite a big foot, so... That's why I've got a large seam allowance. Okay, and then here... Um, I'm going to fold it over once by about a quarter of an inch and then again by about half an inch and that'll give me a channel that I can sew uh, that I can thread my um, elastic through I am making crystal a toweling turban oh no straight stitch please so again fold over by about a quarter of an inch and then about half an inch have a longer stitch quarter of an inch half an inch if you wanted to pin that to make it really accurate then that may be an idea those are the core bond scissors Judy we've got them back in stock again um, and again sewn right along the edge so I've got a tube for the, the elastic to go through if I do a pattern by the way on the website um, it'll only be my hand drawing so I should make it as neat as possible and you'll have to join them together because they'll be on A4 sheets but this is ever so easy I was quite surprised I've never made this before I just thought when I, when I saw the actual turban that's really easy but I wonder how much they sell how much would you pay for one of these that'd be interesting I'll have a look on Amazon when we when we're finished Oh, Les is back in the office next week. Oh, boo. Hello, Dawn. Okay. Anybody else on the website? Oh, hello, Mandy. Mandy's on the website. Uh, Dawn's on the website. Um, Mickey Lizzie, hot in Manchester. Can you get to thinking up on shows how to make a storage place? for diabetic testing equipment. How many compartments are you going to need for that? Right, let's, again. So I'm just folding it by half an inch, uh, by quarter of an inch, and then about half an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, oh, Andrea's back in the office in Switzerland already. 99? P for a hair tur, but I'd, I wouldn't imagine very absorbent. Oh, Carol, thank you. Nice to have your company. So as I'm coming back to where I started from here, I need to leave a gap so I can turn it the right way about. I tend to buy these, really. So I've got a little gap here. Before I do that, I will put on the the little tab so that's going to go on this end so I just need a little loop of elastic 
so I'm going to make that about five inches long four inches long so let's loop that around hmm I'm just going to sew that right on the inside, right on the edge. I don't want to take up too much of that channel space for the rest of the elastic to go through. So right on the edge here should be fine. And then there you go. Oh, I've lost an end. Let's do that again. Got it. Thanks, Rosanne. I'm glad you enjoyed the chats. So there we go. So I've just got a piece of a loop of elastic sewn onto the the thinner end of my wrap. I'll sew the button on in a minute. Now I don't want to make this too tight with the elastic. So let's go once. I'll do about one and a half times the length. Let's have a safety pin on here. Turbans are a pound in the are they, Mary? Where was my gap? Here we go. And we'll just thread this all the way through. In Amazon, 19 to 20 pounds. Wow. These are the core bond scissors we've got on the website, Vera. It is more fun to make them, I, I, I think. Um, when uh, Kim brought hers up, um, for me to model this one on. Um, she said that Vienna had been wearing it as well, so I was, I was thinking it'd be nice to have some uh, kiddie type toweling. I don't think, well, I haven't seen any. Hello, Kathy in Massachusetts. I think it's, a, you know, people are asking what to make out of toweling. You bought the toweling, what do I make out of it? And if you don't want to make something like a robe, and there's only so many face wipes you can make, I just thought this was quite a nice idea. It wasn't mine, but it's quite a nice idea. Hi, Myra. You can always watch back again. Uh, will you have the pleasure of making it yourself? Yeah. It is a, a mini sewing machine behind me. Um, who's that? Um, Helen. Helene. I collect them. Not just mini sewing machines, but old sewing machines of any description. But the children's ones, I think, are particularly nice. Just come up to a bit of a lump at this seam, see if we can get that through. Oh, Darcy's made these with binding without the elastic. That's a nice idea. She says that works. Have I caught the sun? I haven't even been out in it, Jen. Yes, Jean, you could, you could make items to match. That's a good idea. Um, oh, so I'm guess, guessing rather sticky. Um, oh, the image is in your mind now. Hello, Patricia in Mallorca. Yeah, Davina, I don't think you'd get bamboo turbans for a pound. Um, the sewing box behind me. Yes, we do have those. I'm not sure what colours we've got on the website, but we do have some of those. Hello, Alicia in Mexico. Right, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of gauge the length that I need of this when I'm coming around. I don't want it too tight. Uh, let's just keep pulling that through. Bear with me while I'm threading elastic through a rather long channel. House move hasn't happened yet, Carol, tearing my hair out with it. I get into the stage where I think, well, wouldn't it be nice to just stay here after all? I can't believe how long it's taking. It was the, um, the end of March when we first put an offer in. Anyway, I tell you what, oh, I shouldn't moan. The latest excuse is it's all delayed because of COVID. I think we've, COVID's been around for 18 months now. I would have thought that people would have got used to dealing with business in these situations. But hey, no, no, I'm not complaining. If COVID is stopping people working, it's stopping people working. Now, look, I'm complaining and I've lost the end. Um, so I'm thinking, as I'm pulling this through, that the elastic should be, I'll write this down when I get a chance, um, about one and a half times the circumference. 
I'm just going to sew the ends together, then I shall show you what I've done. Do that a few times so it doesn't come undone. Solicitors, Debbie and mortgage lenders. But I'm not complaining because, you know, people in worse positions than we're in, aren't they? So a, a, a little bit of elasticity, so it's not too tight, but it just gives it a little bit of, of shape there. Um, and then where the gap is that I left to put the elastic in, I'm just going to sew over that so I don't have a gap. And then I've got a loop on one end. I shall need a button on the other end. So I've got a little matching button here. And needle and thread must be somewhere on here. Lovely. And I'll just sew that on the other end. And then where I, then I might see if it works. I think the hair's a bit of a mess already, so I don't really mind. Oh, Carol's getting a new car on Friday. How exciting. Amanda, I don't know what the project's going to be for Saturday at the moment. I've, I've got um, a, a pretty busy schedule at the moment. Coffee. Oh, thank you. I've got a new mug. Oh, yes. That's not coffee. It's something cold. Anybody else? Oh, that's that, that lemonade that I love. In my new mug. I love cloudy lemonade. And that with, with ice in it, it's just lovely on a hot day like this. Thank you. Mm. Anyway, I'm saying a button on. What was I on about? Oh, I don't know. I was, I was talking about something, wasn't I? Uh, Susan wants a coffee. Patricia will have something. I don't know whether it's hot or cold. Um, Lisa wants a gin. Like the pub. It's uh, that's a first for Lisa because she doesn't drink. Um, <laughs> You're driving her to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa it says I'm driving you to drink. That's that's not probably far off. Um, Wonky Street. At the moment we wonk it out, Sylvia. Uh, oh, Morag wants a gin as well. You you're such a lot of alkies, aren't you? You lot, honestly. Linda says it's Pim's o'clock. It's not even five o'clock in the afternoon, and what they're like, they're knocking it back already. Oh, hot chocolate for Lynette, because it's 16 degrees in Pretoria. <laughs> oh, Joella, welcome to the Half Yard Club. I hope you like it. Um, and Nicey wants a matcha. I don't know what that is. You lot, honestly. <laughs> Have I ever done a crazy quilt fabric? Um, a small one, Amanda. I, I must admit, I've not done a large quilt because, again, it's time. Oh, I was on about Wonky Street, wasn't I? Um, we haven't got any more wonkies planned in for this year because uh, we've done so much wonky. Um, I, th I think we've exhausted it a bit. I, I, do you know, I don't have someone to show off my scissors. I have done the cutting through sandpaper thing, and that seems to work, or tin foil. Um, but I've never, I've never actually needed my, my scissors sharpening door. Um, Angela's just joined the club. Welcome along. <laughs> Jules has been looking at my 1980s kids ITV videos on YouTube. I know what we used to. Watch. Do you know that there was the hair? I have incredibly straight hair, which um, some may think is a blessing. But when you just wanted to always look like crystal tips, then straight hair never quite did it. Um, and when oh Hillary, welcome along. Um, when I was at Kids Eye TV, a, a big hair was such a big rage, like, like pineapples on top of your head and scarves wrapped around and all that kind of thing. And before I went into work in the morning, I used to, or the night before, I used to plait my hair into tiny little plaits um, while it was damp. So I'd wake up in the morning, it was like this, and then I'd put it in rollers. Um, and it was the only, <laughs> it seemed to be the only way I could stop it from just getting straighter and straighter throughout the day. Uh, Jean's just joined as well. <gasps> Wonky Christmas tree, what a lovely idea. Um, yes, there, there was a, a lot of um, a lot of backcombing going on in the 1980s as well. Um, oh, Jean's just joined as well. Oh, thank you. 
Kelly's forgotten her password. Kelly, if you need any help, if you go to info at halfyardtownclub.com, um, they'll be able to help you out there. There's, there's always, there's, well, we've got a really nice team of girls there. They are all girls. And um, they, they'll help you out. So if you've forgotten your password and you can't reset it, then just get in touch and somebody will help you out there. Yeah, dual own tra Oh, <laughs> Harmony hairspray. I got through cans of it. Cans of it. Um, hello uh, from Shan Chantalida in France. Welcome. Uh, happy National France Day. Um, I don't have a pattern, Rosanna, by my tops. That's a good idea, Ruth. The local cobbler or key cutter. Oh, Mary's only just joined us. Mary, you've missed it now. I've made... Actually, that looks bought, doesn't it? I've not made one of these before, so first time. Um, so button at one end, loop at the other. I shall endeavour to put it on in a minute, but I know I'm just going to mess my hair up. Um, Sherry's ordered bamboo tiling, the matching headband and scrunchies. That's a nice idea. I'll tell you what I like are the, the big wide headbands when you kind of push your hair back and wash your face. <laughs> I've got pictures now, Helen. Helen uses hairspray and bees and wasps chaser. Um, oh, an Afro comb as well. Oh, yes. Aren't we old? Don't we have long memories going back all this time? Um, a razor cut. I don't, do you remember, is that those combs, Susan, that had a razor inside them? Remember those? Um, they were quite frightening, weren't they? They'd slice half your hair off. Spray the hair, spray blast with the hair, dry straight it. Yep, done that, <laughs> done that as well. <laughs> no, I haven't done a ditty today, Mary. I've, I've been a bit, um, been a bit busy. Um, should we do a ditty for Saturday? I don't know what. What should I do a ditty about? I should do a ditty for you on Saturday. Your own perm, Susan. Hmm? Okay, we're ready for this. No, I wanted to show you some poplins. Um, which have been on the website for a while, but I haven't shown you. And they are beautiful. That's my ruler gone. Um, so if you're not aware, we've got an awful lot of dressmaking fabrics. And th these are just beautiful. So these are poplins. So if you're not aware, there's quilting weight of cotton or craft cotton, which is... Um, like the ones that I showed you earlier on the Christmas fabrics and, and the um, Lady McElroy. The next, uh, the, the lighter, the next lighter weight of fabric is a poplin, so it has a bit more of a drape. So this is more for dressmakers. And then even lighter than that is lawn. Some of these are lawn and some are poplin, but they feel about the same, so I'm not sure which is which. I think most of these are poplin. Um, but I did do the, um, the video on the website and YouTube, I don't have the bag here, using a poplin with decathlon as an interface and making a really stiff bag out of it. So don't think, oh, this is just for dressmaking. If you use an interfacing with your poplin, you can make it as firm as you want it to. So I just wanted to run you through some of these, just in case you weren't aware that we've got such a wide range of dressmaking fabrics as well. Um, this has been a really popular one. It's like a, a, a like dots of, of ink and then wet if you get what I mean it's like a watercolor it's beautiful so I'll flick through them really quickly a ditty about the internet dropping in and out that'd be a good one um, I know we're on the second order of this one without you even seeing it here before and this is the sunflower sketches that's been really really busy this is again is a, is a poplin but it's a nice weight of poplin um, daisies on a black background I think we're on the second order of those as well so sorry I haven't shown you these before but we put them on the website and they just seem to go um, berries again lovely if you are dressmaking if you want to make something that's drapey um, a full skirt or a blouse or something like that gorgeous these are really classy as well we've got two colour options I can't remember what they're all called I'm afraid um, but if you go to dressmaking fabrics and poplins you'll, you'll see all of those um, Amanda's had a life changed with the quilters not um, oh, I've been asked to do a bow again as well. I must do that. 
but again these are really lovely floaty they tend to be wider than quilting cottons as well these are probably 140 centimeters wide instead of 112 which is what we do with dressmaking this one i know is on second order this one's on second order because it's been so popular and then we've got the berries as well so i'm not going to go through in in a lot of detail about you know exactly what there is i just wanted you to be aware that we do have lots of dressmaking fabrics on the website as well as your quilting fabrics as well um, they're lovely aren't they linda summery tops and they're nice and cool and lightweight as well the tiger mandala fabric oh that would be really nice jean wonder what you're going to make with that Swedish embroidery. Oh, Amanda's just finished a wedding cushion for a friend who's getting married. An old Swedish embroidery tradition. That's a nice idea. Um, Sarah had a bad perm in the 80s. I was never very good with perms. I tended to fight back and within a week I got straight hair all over again. Um, okay, we're just about out of time. If you do have any suggestions for Saturday, so somebody was asking earlier on what we're going to make on Saturday, don't know, um, then um, come and let me know. I thought the next sew along on the Half Yard Club, we, we're going to do one of those triangular pouches with a zip on it. I thought that might be quite nice. Um, oh, Lisa's going on a holiday. She's put a world map on the kitchen wall and threw a dart at it. I'd go wherever the dart landed. Oh, go on, where are you going? Exeter, I bet it went to. <laughs> Two weeks behind the fridge. <laughs> My zips keep ladder and frame in the bags are made as the quality of the zips needed. What they is, is that the zip tape nice seed that ladders? That shouldn't ladder at all because the, the edges of it is finished. Or is it the ends of the zips? Just sew over them a few times. How do you put a knot in the end of your sewing thread after threading a needle? We can do that again, Amanda. Let me just get some thread in a colour that you can see. Let's go for red. It's um they call it a quilter's knot. But it's really quick. I, I, after spending all of my years um, wrapping thread around, you know, and, and, and do that, and getting either big knots or no knots at all. I was introduced a few years ago to a quilter's knot. So let me just thread this and I'll show you how it works. Right, so we have a threaded needle. Needle pointing sharp end that way if you're right handed, obviously it'll be the other way if you're left handed. And then take the end of the long piece of thread so that the, th the end of the thread is pointing towards the point of the needle. Then you're going to grab hold of the end of that thread with your needle hand and wrap it around there four or five times. Then swap it to the other hand so you're holding where it's been wrapped over and push the needle through and drag the knot down to the bottom of the thread and there you will have a tiny little knot on the end of your thread. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Maybe that's not a good idea. I'll do it again, see if I can get a bit closer. So, there we go. Pointed end of needle, end of thread. Grab hold of the end of thread with pointed end of needle and then wrap it around a few times. The, bigger, the, the more times you wrap it, the bigger your knot's going to be then transfer this to your other hand so you're holding all of that twist of thread inside your fingers and push the needle through and drag the knot down to the bottom of your thread and there is your little knot right on the end. I haven't done a video from Mug Bag Leanne. Um, what was on my half yard club? Was that the Wonkies? <laughs> Helene, if you, um, when you start threading the end of the thread, make sure you've got the end of the thread there. If you start threading, if you start winding with a long piece of a tail of thread on the end, it'll stop halfway down. So keep trying. Okay, I'm going to pop off then. Um, I'll just catch up with the website, a cover for an eye. Oh, that's a good idea, Sherry. 
an iron cover. Is that a mini iron cover or would that be a a big iron cover? I shall have a think about that one. Um, I'm up to date there. Sarah had a bag permanent too, so I think we've done that one. Okay. Uh, right, so I shall see you again on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. I was going to put this on, wasn't I? Okay. So let me get this right. So hair goes upside down that way. That goes on there like that with a button at the back. Hair goes inside. Remember, your hair would be wet normally, like that. <laughs> I'm going to look so silly. And then we twist this around like that. And then your loop goes over the back and hooks around the button. And you have that. <laughs> so my daughter will be cringing at home if she's watching this now. I kind of like it. I've not worn one of these before. I'm normally one of those that has a big towel wrapped around my head and then it falls off all over the place, but I kind of like that. Yeah, I'm and I'm going to go now because I know I look rather silly. Um, so I shall see you again on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. So do take care of yourself. Enjoy your sewing. And I shall see you again very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>